Hi, this is Doodle Fingers. How's everyone doing? It's been a very long time since I've done any type of um, videoing of things that I've been doing as far as crafts. So I figured I'd show you what I've been doing lately, keeping myself busy. Um, I've been making these because uh, I'm starting to turn my scrapbook, scrapbook crafting craft room into more of a steampunk i really love steampunk like I, for a very long time and I, I decided okay let's just go dive right into it this is the molds i'm using okay and this is what i'm using Okay, you can get this on Amazon. It's Melting Pot from Ranger. Okay. And the products that I'm using is... And if you want to know what it does... Keeps your UD Flex Melt quicker and protects your melting pot from any sticky residue. Okay, so now you saw that. This is the color I'm using, which is black. I like, I honestly, I think all you really do need is black and the white. And if you use the clear, which is basically this one, obviously, because it's clear, you could use your um, Perfect Pearls or even this. This is how I do the sample so I can see what kind of uh, embossing I have here. And this is embossing powder. You could put that in your melting pot. And um, this is from Lindsay stamp gang or gang stamp i can't remember okay and then i use this this one's really old but it still works because i cover it this or there's other kinds are, that are out there but you just rub the metallic on there the wax or wax metallic finish you know and i've been making quite a few of these and I'll show you why. Oh, actually, because I'm planning on putting them on there. Okay, I had that right there. I don't like how that looked. I really want my little grunge look. And right there, I had just rubbed. Hopefully my phone doesn't fall. I'm going to show you what I've been rubbing on that. And it's this, but not this color. I used one that is, let me show you. Let me show you exactly what I used because I'm not very good at all this chaos stuff. I believe I may have, I used this one. And um, I only used, uh, this is the regular, this is just the plastic ones that you buy, they're really cheap, and I painted it all in matte black. I didn't really have to paint all of it because it's me who's gonna use it. It's not a show or anything. It's just to make me feel more creative. It inspires me, motivates me. So that's what I'm doing. Everything's a mess. We're crafters. This is how it looks. <laughs> okay. And that'll become my label. This will become my label. Now I'm going to put a regular label. You could use anything. But um, 
Where is the one that I did? Oh. Well, I'm a normal functioning crafter. So you know what I mean. If you're a crafter, you know what I mean. You can make your own label. You can make it however you want. I've been seeing some new stuff that um, Tim, Mr. Holtz, Tim Holtz, has out now. And I really like them. They're really nice. Some holders, uh, some uh, label that you can make. Really nice. I really love his uh, folder, embossing folders. Let me just show you really quick what I do. See if you can see this, all right? This is just a tile. And the reason I use this tile, and it's it's a mess, but who cares? The reason I use a tile is I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so let's do this here. It's really hot. Make sure you have nothing in the way so you don't mess this up. The closer to it, the better. Whoop, be gentle. The easier the pour. Okay, doesn't matter for a little bit that I put this here. Because by putting this in here, you might have a little overflow, which is fine, but by pressing this down, any little nooks and crannies, you weren't able to get it in, um, it, you're pushing it into those. And also it keeps the back flat really flat so you can um you can put it on there the way i'm gonna put it on to uh oh gosh sometimes i wonder about myself this these are just if you're wondering where i got this for god's sakes every time you show something you have to tell people where you got it i got this i believe on etsy I got this on Etsy. Who? I have no idea. I bought this maybe eight years ago. Eight years ago. I'm, I use it, but very, <laughs> very slow. So these are normal labels that I've um, distressed that you, the, that you buy at Walgreens anywhere. You can buy them anywhere. Really cheap. Just labels. Sticker labels. Right, I distressed it, I painted it and everything. I drew my own thing. But this is what I'm gonna do. Clearly, I'm gonna make new ones so I can cut it to fit. But that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Well, let me just show you the one that's like that. Now you see what I'm doing. Now you get the, the gist of it, you know? It's not going to be this big, and I may not even do it just like that. Because I'm, I, you know, now that I, I realize, you know, it's okay. Take your time and enjoy the process of doing the things that you're doing. You don't need to rush. I mean, why are you rushing? You're doing this as therapy, pretty much. Okay, so now this is nice and hot. You want to wait when you add a little bit of that flex. <clears throat> when you add a little bit of this flex. It actually keeps the plastic, the embossing liquid, a little bit more flexible. So then you can shape it and clean up the edges. So it's about done. Let's take this out. It'll stick onto here. You see the overflow? It's got a little bit of an overflow, but it has all, the whole design. Now, this is good enough to take off already okay uh, did I crack it almost no I didn't crack it that's just the edge and it's now it's perfect enough for you to I just do like this I, I like my stuff to look like a little bit messed up I guess I don't know I don't like perfection really I don't it doesn't feel natural to me when things are just too perfect. I have a friend of mine, and she, uh, when she scrapbooks and she makes the most beautiful cards, her channel's called Paper and Stuff. She is really nice. The things she makes are insanely beautiful, paper and stuff. 
please go over there and say hi to Alexandra. She's amazing. Um, I call her stuff foo-foo things that she makes. And they're just so clean. Me? No, I'm a mess. And I really like how messy I am. I love it like that. So these are the things I've been doing. This takes a little time, but who cares? You know, you're gonna you you're doing this because you have a time and you need it. You need to do these things just to get your mind off of things that go on. And all I do is I use this and I do the edges like that. And I sometimes I'll screw it up, sorry. I used to have a really nice setup for a camera, and then my whole world turned upside down, family. You know? And then I had to change everything when I'm stressed. I find myself changing things and organizing, or I guess that's my way of controlling the world when I have no control at all. So there you go, right? Then I'm sure somebody out there is like, oh, come on, just take that damn thing off. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> where's this thing? So yeah, the cap is broken. It doesn't matter. You get, get a little bit of saran wrap and you wrap it. Okay, that's what I do. I'll put on my fingers. You can add a little bit more. I think it needs just a little bit more. If you're going to use it, use it for God's sakes. There we go. I like to use it on the sides also. Let's see, I think I did break it a little bit, but like I said, it's for me. So there you have it. That's what I've been doing. I'm really happy about it too. So, I'll be back on here once in a blue moon to show you all the things I'm doing, all the updates I've been doing with um, with my scrap room. Let me see if I could take this off. Oh, it's gonna snap, guys, sorry. There we go. It's a mess and it's three o'clock in the morning, so, but I have been just enjoying revamping everything you know oh that's me and my daughter let me oh that's something i made because of ukraine i painted that girl she's so pretty she was all one color it was a bronze one i said nah i'm gonna change it up so I made all those little things up there with the metal filigrees that you saw. I made it into a little tiny shelf, put it up, and what's inside these little things are postage stamps, you know, to mail envelopes and stuff. I have them all in there. Um, that's my man, a light bulb. He's amazing. I love him. He's made out of pipes and stuff. Uh, that's what I've got. It's a complete mess, you know? I just changed everything just recently. And uh, sometimes people like to see this mess, so there you go. Have I bought a pot, a little pan because I'm gonna start making my own cold porcelain clay so I can do some molds. I painted everything there. That's how it looks under there. And just my mess. 
I don't know. Sometimes I do like to see other people's mess. It's a thing of mine. <laughs> there you go. I'm not... Oh, that's my knee. For God's sakes, take a better picture. My trash can. Hey. Wires on the floor. Hey. My ivy. My iPad, because we do everything and we watch everything. I have my little plants down there. I just started moving things around, so it's still a mess. This. Some parts are bare, some parts are not. But that's how my setup slowly is becoming. And there you go. I'm going really slow not to give you a headache. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Love, love. Bye.